story in the news. This is uh, the oh, Garda yeah. car rammed in the Cherry Orchard area last night. I mean, the footage of this is pretty shocking. I mean, we were talking with the, the guards last week wanting to get new martial arts training. So I this mean, is the footage here. We've got to, we've had to blur out an awful lot. So it's um, a car is racing through Cherry Orchard, and the sounds in the background are people just saying, "Ram him, ram him, ram him, ram him, ram him," and you will see that happening uh, very shortly. This was all over social media. It happened. The guards have issued a statement. They are looking for people with dash cams. They were called to the area at 7:30 p.m. last night. There was only a guard that car there. There's no armed response unit working. Correct. And there's, there's, I assume, two guards sitting in that two car. Two guards sitting in that car. 30 people there. And they quite correctly get themselves out of the scene as quickly as they can because it'd be hugely risky for them. I mean, the notion of this, if you want to do this kind of crack, go buy yourself a racing car. You get it cheaper than the two cars that they're busily wrecking out there and see if you've got some real talent. Pulling handbrake turns in the middle of a suburban area where there's kids out in the evening, where it's still daytime, and then deciding you're going to wreck a guard the car that the rest of us all have to pay for. Uh, it, it's it's shocking, I mean, yeah. and I just think it's frightening for the guards having to go into an area like that, totally. where there's a group of youths that they know are out to cause mischief, and of course they're stuck in the car knowing that they don't really have any support, and they can't really get out and do anything as well. Sure, and even and if you bring the armed support unit, there's a limit to what they can do as well. Can. So yeah. all you can do is by sheer force of numbers, you get the public order guys in and you put 30 or 40 guards into the area. But then all you but do is you stop like it for one night and it kicks off again. And it's like a lock, like it's like a military situation. And obviously this stems from societal issues, things that haven't been done, deprivation in an area, nothing being done. And it carries on to something like this because we all know with sentencing that an awful lot of times nothing happens. You know, but this so joyride is probably the, nothing new either right. at the same time. Like, this has been happening for years. No, 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 I Do get that. Mean? But it's all, it's all tied up into deprivation of an area. And there's, I mean, at the heart of it, if you're doing that, it is because you have nothing better to do and providing the something better yeah. to do would be a good thing. But nonetheless, once you get to that end result, you're yeah. Like if you're a guard and you can't afford to pay rent in Dublin and that's what your face Facebook going to work every day, oh. why would you become a guard?